Some of you are asking me to show how I use Evernote Home. That's the plan for today, but don't expect anything sophisticated. Like many other things in my life, I'm constantly trying to make it as simple as possible. You know what? Ironically, <laughs> making things simple demands a lot of work. Okay, let's take a look at it. I see Evernote Home as my everyday dashboard, so the first thing we have to talk about is a setting. In fact, two settings. If we go to settings, preference, and then applications, there are two options here. Open Evernote at start up and start on home. I have both checked because I want to always see Evernote home when I open, when I turn on my computer. If you go all the way back to the moment uh, when the more uh, sophisticated widgets were released, uh, the filtered note widgets and some other widgets like that, uh, you notice that I was trying to put everything here, have a home with all the information, everything was, I was using a lot of automations, not automations, but a building widgets with tags. It, it was crazy. I was even complaining about uh, the 12 widget limit all the time. Now I'm trying to make things more simple, more usable, more uh, making this more uh, like work like a dashboard, a simple daily dashboard. Okay, what helped me here was the fact that I changed my sh I went back to using the shortcuts because uh, the mobile version, the mobile client of Evernote changed. You can you can learn all about that watching these videos here if you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go through the widgets I use and why I use the sizes I use. The first one is the calendar. Uh, I like the large widget because of the mini calendar here, the monthly calendar. If I need to schedule something with a client, I can see today's the 19th and I, I can see the, the week ahead, the month ahead. I can even jump to the next month here. So I need this. There's a tip though, if you select the smaller version or any of the, the smaller versions, you can click here to see the mini calendar, the monthly calendar. But I don't like that. Too many clicks. I prefer to keep it uh, like this and I can see everything here. Tasks is the same thing. I talked about it in a recent video, but the reason I use the medium size version is that I want to see the notes. I need to see the notes and not only see the notes, I want to be able to click on a note and go to that note to understand if I need more context to understand what that task, it, that task is all about. And here we go, the disclaimer for people who are new to the channel. Uh, I have to do this all the time because I always get comments. This is not my real account. This is the account I use to record the videos, okay? So next is the pen note. And here I have my documents note. You can watch a video about this here. And this is a very important note. I use it all the time. And there, there's more on this note. It's not only documents. So there are other information that I use all the time. If I need some number, I can just copy and paste it from here. Or if I need more information, I can click here or I can go to that note. I'd say this is getting more and more uh, similar to a, a family summary, something like that. Can you see the pattern here? I'm trying to keep home as this uh, work as this dashboard, a daily dashboard. So below here, we have another widget that I I always use. This is the notes widget. This is so basic, but it will give me a way to see what is the last note I worked on. Because if I'm here on the notes list, I have this ordered by date created, the, the, the latest one at the top of the list and, and so on. So it's a reverse chronological order based on the creation date. But many times what we really need is something that we just used. In, in, in the case of Evernote, it's a note that I worked on. So what I'll do instead of searching, instead of going to a notebook or anything like that, what I'll do is just go to home, scroll down, and here it is. By the way, if you like what I do here, <laughs> subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. Okay, this is how I use this one, and I love this. I use, I, I, I'd say I use it maybe every day, uh, at least once every day. 
Then there's the scratch pad. I was using this a lot in the beginning. I'm not using it anymore. And I rarely use this. And to be honest, this is, <laughs> this is crazy. I don't know if they changed this, but if I remove the scratch pad from Evernote Home, it will also be removed from the, the new create page on the mobile uh, client. And not that I use it, but I think it's it, it's more aesthetically uh, interesting to keep the, the 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 scratch pad there. So that's why it's here. But I could easily remove this widget. Also, I don't need all these notes here. Usually, I'm looking for the first and second notes here on, on this list. So, yeah, <laughs> no reason at all for that widget there. Okay, let's go back to the top and talk about the, the workflow. Evernote opens every time I turn on my computer and always opens on home because, and, and that's why the calendar is at the top, because I need to take a look at what I have to do that day. And as I explained it in other videos, my calendar has appointments that are appointments that I cannot not do. I mean... I can, but what it's what I, I'll call, I, I call, I'll be punished if I don't do them. For example, if I have a, a doctor's appointment and if I don't go, the punishment is I'll have to reschedule that. And I don't even know how long it will take me to be able to go again to that doctor. If I have a, a meeting with a friend, let's say that friend doesn't live in the same city. That was a, a single opportunity. Uh, another example would be uh, uh, bills. Maybe I would have to pay late fees if I don't pay a bill. So that's why I, 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 I always put in the calendar because the calendar is this better representation of time passing and there's no way to go back. There's no way to pause. There's no way to go to the future. At least, I don't know if... The... <laughs> Are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? Then there are the tasks. And as you already know, I talked about them. My tasks are pretty simple, pretty straightforward. But this is what I do. I, I'm, I'm working on something here on my calendar. Let's say I, I'm, I'm in a meeting with a client and then there's nothing else for, I don't know, half an hour, one hour. And I can go check some of the tasks and do those tasks. And, th and because my tasks are pretty simple, I don't need the sophisticated uh, view that we have if we click here. I, I, I really don't need this. I, I, I don't need to filter any of that. So it, this is enough and this works very well for me. Okay. So this is my daily workflow here uh, at this main page. And I'm always coming back if I'm working on something. So let's say I'm here working on a video, working on the script for uh, how I use Evernote Home. Let's say uh, I'm working on this script and I need to check something about my schedule. I'll go to Home, take a look at today's schedule or maybe go to tomorrow or the next week or next month and go back to what I was doing, clicking here. And here, here here's a, a, an interesting example. Let's say I'm here and I'm taking a look at these tasks here. Look what, what's here. It's so easy. I just click here and go back to that note, okay? One thing I don't like is this, why some clicks don't show the notes list. I have already complained about this to Evernote many times. I hope they bring back the list to all the notes. What I do is just create, click here, and this usually brings, not usually, all the time, it, all the times it brings back the, the notes list. I, I, I like the notes list. It gives me more information, more context. So I can click here and go back to whatever I was doing at that moment. Like I said, it's pretty simple and very useful because I can go back and forth and quickly go back and forth. But I'd say that if it wasn't for the changed Evernote did to the, to the mobile client, I wouldn't have made the change to the shortcuts and I wouldn't have this simple version of Evernote Home. This is how I used to use Evernote in the past before Evernote Home. So I, I think I finally found a balance. And one thing 
I don't think I, 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 I talked about this here on the channel in the past, but one thing that I was really struggling with when Evernote, when the widgets, uh, when they released the widgets, was what should I set as a widget and what should I set as a shortcut? Because again, in the past, all we had wa was the shortcuts area, and that's what I, I, I used for so long. And I think I was trying to bring all that to Evernote Home, and it was too much. So I'm happy now with this. It, it, it feels like it's balanced. What I'm working on, things that I have to work is in the shortcuts area, and things that I have to follow up with the dates, the uh, I mean the, the the schedule, the the the, the appointments, dates, the calendar, and the tasks and documents that um, information that I use all the time from my notes, uh, from my documents note, and here the the notes that I have worked on. This is such a simple widget, but. It's so powerful. The only option in the past would be to switch to update it and then switch back to create it because I, I prefer the created. Most of the time, I'm, I'm looking, I'm working with the, cre the the order, the creator order, not in the main list, but in in the other lists, the other notebooks. So now we have this simple way of uh, taking a look at both, and I have even tried this widget here at the top, but I think the calendar is a better option for my workflow. Okay, that's it. Now it's your turn. What widgets do you use? What widgets do you have on Evernote Home? Do you even use Evernote Home? Please let me know in the comments below. If this was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you like what I do here on the channel, please subscribe. It helps a lot. Thanks for watching. See you soon.